everyone, I'm Jun, a researcher at The Expert. The current anticipation of interest rate reductions has boosted investors' interest in more speculative assets. The surge in cryptocurrency market in 2021 happened at the same time as extremely relaxed monetary policy, raising questions about how lowering interest rates affect crypto values. Additionally, the impending Bitcoin halving event in April and the growing interest in Bitcoin ETF are attracting both traders and investors to the world of cryptocurrencies. Let's examine this further by first looking at Bitcoin ETF. The iShares Bitcoin Trust or iBit and the Fidelity Wise Origin Bitcoin Fund or FBTC have achieved unprecedented success as ETFs, boosting the highest asset ever accumulated within one month of their market launch. These two ETF stands out as the only ones to amass over $3 billion within the first 20 trading days. Additionally, ARKB and BITB have also achieved significant success, ranking in the top 25 in terms of asset accumulated during the first month. Overall, the Spot Bitcoin ETF collectively have had the most successful ETF launch in history based on both trading activity and flow metrics. Bitcoin ETF, including futures-based options like BITO, have accounted for 5 of the top 25 launches by trading volume and have demonstrated notable resilience beyond their initial trading days. The daily trading volume of Bitcoin ETF have surged significantly, particularly during periods when cryptocurrency prices reached its highest level on record. This influx in funds has led to a substantial increase in assets held by this ETF, surpassing $45 million in total. Collectively, US bought Bitcoin ETF now holds over 760,000 Bitcoin. As of the time of recording my video, Bitcoin has achieved new all-time highs. This demonstrates the growing interest and investments in Bitcoin ETF, reflecting the overall bullish sentiment in the cryptocurrency market. The advent of Bitcoin ETF played a part in driving up Bitcoin's value, but it's crucial to note that multiple factors contribute to market dynamics. While ETF enhanced accessibility and legitimacy in Bitcoin investing, other elements like market confidence, macroeconomic policies, regulatory framework, and more also influenced Bitcoin's upward trajectory. The relationship between crypto ecosystem and macroeconomics is evident in how favorable market conditions increase investors' interest in higher risk assets. Changes in interest rate and borrowing costs can affect crypto markets differently compared to traditional assets. For instance, financing costs impact decisions of venture capital firms investing in startups looking to develop blockchain applications, for example, Ethereum, thereby influencing the blockchain adoption. Conversely, for blockchains focused solely on transactions like Bitcoin, higher financing costs for mining equipment and storage space reduce miners' marginal profits, reflecting the differing value proposition of crypto assets. Bitcoin's value stems from transaction volume and mining, while Ether's value is derived from transaction validation and the utility of applications on the Ethereum blockchain. Before I delve deeper into the factors, it's important to acknowledge that due to their short history and speculative nature, current trends in the crypto ecosystem may evolve, and new trends could reshape how these factors impact this space. This is especially relevant as retail and institution investors continue to broaden their investment portfolios within the cryptocurrency markets. Due to time constraints, I'll only be talking on a few factors. Let's begin by examining whether market liquidity Liquidity helps the crypto asset. In the United States, there were three rounds of QE from 2009 to 2014, which then led to the infamous paper tantrum in 2014, when bond yields went haywire after the Fed hinted at slowing down its bond purchases. Fast forward to 2018, and we witnessed the Fed move to reduce its balance sheet through QT only to hit the emergency QE button again in 2020 during the COVID chaos. The dance between QE and QT seemed to influence not just traditional markets, but also spilled over into the crypto markets. The surge in demand for higher risk assets during QE periods could be seen as a booster shot for the crypto market thanks to the rapid surge in global liquidity. Let's talk Bitcoin, the poster child of cryptocurrency. The rapid surge in 2017, thanks in part to the halving event, to the subsequent 2018 slump during QT, and then to the, its meteoric rise in 2020 amid the pandemic QE spree, showcase a correlation with monetary policies move. But it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Bitcoin's peak and valleys coincide with changes in Fed policies and specific events within the crypto space, like the USD collapse and FTX trouble in 2022. This shows how intertwined global financial dynamics are with 
the crypto markets. Looking at the M2 growth since 1980s, especially during recessions and loose monetary policies, gives us a broader context. The positive correlation between M2 and the crypto index, albeit breaking down in 2018, hints at how monetary policies can sway crypto markets. In the end, while there is a clear historical trend of crypto performing well during loose monetary phases, the direct cause and effect relationship isn't always straightforward. Crypto markets have a mind of their own, reacting to a myriad of factors beyond just central bank move. It's a complex dance where monetary policy plays a part, but certainly not the only star on stage. In the context of monetary policy, what effects do changes in interest rates have on cryptocurrencies? As the Federal Reserve potentially considers lowering interest rates, it's worth exploring this aspect in detail. When major central banks like the Fed increase benchmark interest rates, high-risk assets become less appealing. This trend may also extend to the crypto assets. We investigate whether there is evidence supporting this inverse relationship between interest rates and crypto prices. To do so, it's logical to use the risk-neutral yield on the two-year US Treasury bond to evaluate short-term market expectations regarding US interest rate shifts. This metric reflects market projections for the Fed's funds rate two years from now, based on the ACM model developed by the Fed. So, what can we gain from this chart by S&P Global? Over a daily rolling 3-month period, there is an inverse correlation between interest rates and the crypto index, occurring 63% of the time since May 2017. This percentage increases to 75% from May 2020, following the emergence of COVID-19 pandemic. Thus, it's evident that this inverse correlation generally aligns with the anticipation behavior observed in traditional assets. Finally, we come to the last and widely discussed factor contributing to the recent surge in Bitcoin price, the halving event. This event occurs every four years, and this year's event will reduce block rewards to 3.215 Bitcoin from 6.25 Bitcoin, marking a roughly 50% decrease in reward. The halving is expected to occur in April 19, leaving approximately 8,600 Bitcoin blocks until the event. Historically, previous halving events have coincided with Bitcoins reaching significant highs. Following the 2012 halving, Bitcoin surpassed $1,000, and after the 2016 halving, it surged to almost $20,000. On July 16, 2016, the day of the second halving, the price initially dropped by 10% to $610, but quickly rebounded to its pre-halving levels. While the immediate impact on Bitcoin's price was modest, the markets responded over the subsequent year following the second halving, with some arguing that the price increase was a delayed outcome of the halving. The theory suggests that as the supply of Bitcoin decreases, demand for it remains constant or increases, thereby driving the price higher. Observing Bitcoin price 365 days post the second halving, it rose by 284% to $2,506. The most recent halving in 2020 preceded Bitcoin's all-time high of $69,000, representing a more than 559% increase. It's important to note that price surge following halving events don't always occur immediately. In some instances, it took months for Bitcoin to reach new highs. Nevertheless, historical data suggests that halving events have historically acted as catalysts for bull market momentum. With an increased number of institution investors entering the crypto market, the potential for contagion risk between traditional and crypto assets will rise. A robust banking system is essential for a healthy economy. In March 2023, the collapse of a few banks led to involuntary depagging of some stable coins, which are designed to serve as a link between fiat currencies and the crypto ecosystem. This highlights the growing influence of monetary policy and fiscal policies on the crypto market as we move forward. As Bitcoin continues to grab attention with its impressive rally, it's important to maintain a sense of caution due to the risk associated with it, considering that it's still widely regarded as a speculative asset for the time being. Thanks for joining me today. When it comes to trading or investing, do your own due diligence and be mindful of the risk. If you find this video helpful for your research, please subscribe, share, and like it. Quickly access to all our channels by scanning the QR code. Take care and I'll see you in the next episode.